wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Hey, you've got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. He's back to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth, now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. go Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done. Now part two. They'll set up to throw. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and eight. Now back to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A huge play there in overtime. 61 yards. They picked up a first down and a whole lot more. Forget about just looking for the sticks. They went well beyond the stick. I know they were talking about guarding the sticks on defense. They didn't guard them very well. They've got a big-time completion on a third down. That's almost a backbreaker, isn't it? In overtime... Every play's importance is magnified, and that one could turn out to be huge. D.D. Westbrook is intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came up with a momentum point. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves them with five more. Third and five now. Back to throw here. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Charles, you think back to some of the great OT games in postseason history. There have been a lot of them. I think in January 2016, Hail Mary from Aaron Rodgers. But the Cardinals were able to survive that game. Yeah, you need a Larry Fitzgerald, which the Cardinals had, to trump an Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary, and they did so. But let's go back. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game.